So this is a Luna Quasar 524, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got the jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake, we'll take you through these in person here on site. In the front locker you have your gas bottle with gas valve on top, open is on, closed is off. On the bulkhead you have the regulator itself and the pipe work coming down to the bottle. The pipe work going into the front of the bottle is a reverse thread fitment, um, so you need to turn it the opposite way to a standard gas fitment to release it from the bottle. Coming down the side of the caravan, you've got the wind down legs on either side of the front. They are just there for stabilising the caravan, they're not there for lifting the van. You've then got your true heating and hot water flue. Um, that is essentially the same as a flue as what you have on the side of your house, so you don't need to do anything with that. Um, you just never cover it up and you always leave it open completely. You then have your water pump connection, very simply push down the connection on top, the uh, button on top so it releases and the same to fit it into the side of the van, you push it in and lock it in place. Pickup pipe drops down inside the act roll and I'll show you how to fill the system once we go inside the van. You then got your motor mover uh, leisure battery and your mains power lead coming to the side of the van. In there also you've got the motor mover power switch which will demonstrate to you in person. The motor mover and wheel nuts, like I said, we'll demonstrate the mover in person and we'll talk the wheel nuts to the correct setting. So uh, it'll be 130 newton meters, which is the manufacturer's suggested setting. Coming further down the side of the van, you've got two grey waste pipes. So you'll have two bits of grey pipe that go into the larger diameter holes on the outside of this fitment just down here. And that essentially, once the fresh water's been through the system and gone through the shower and the sinks, it'll come back out down the side of the van here. You've then got your toilet flush tank, you put the key in and open this up and you put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. In the bottom you have the toilet waste cassette which you release the handle by pulling up the orange handle or release the cassette by pulling up the orange handle. The orange neck here tip turns out so you can tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. On the back of the cassette you've got your orange pressure relief button so when you're tipping your waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. We need to put one litre of water in there and a cap full of the blue fluid prior to use. On the back of the van you've got your two wind down legs to stabilise the van while you're on site. Again they are only there for stabilising, they're not there for lifting the van. On this side of the van you've got then got your two fridge vents. The two fridge vents are very simply there to allow hot out the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. You've got a uh, gas uh, vent on the side of the van as well so when the fridge is running on gas it can vent outside. You've then got your storage locker for underneath the front seating area and your wind down leg for this side of the van at the front. Going inside the caravan now. Above the door you have the main control panel. What you need to do when, they, when you come inside the caravan is turn the power button on. So you have a green light next to it so you just need to press the button. You've then got your roof lights for the caravan, your water pump run which I'll come back to in a moment. You've got your awning light for the outside of the caravan and then you've got your battery voltage on the right hand side. Button down here, as you can see, it doesn't do anything at all on this control panel, apart from if you press and hold it, it'll allow you to change the time on the clock at the top here. The first thing you're gonna to need to do once you've got the control panel turned on and the water connected on the outside is come over to every tap on board the caravan, open all the taps up on the hot side of the water system with the water pump turned off. And this is to fill the water system, sorry, I should say. You'll then come underneath the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan and underneath here you will find a yellow drain down valve. So that yellow drain down valve needs to be parallel with the floor prior to filling the water system up and when you're draining the water system down when you finish using the caravan it needs to be pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat. So like I said to fill the system parallel with the floor as it is now. Once you have that valve parallel with the floor and you have all the taps open on the hot side of the water system, you'll then come over to the control panel above the door and you'll turn the water pump on. At that point, it will start drawing water from the act roll on the outside of the caravan. And when you have water running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan as you have now, you can start thinking about warming and heat, warming the water on gas or electric. So once that water system's full and all that water's coming out, all water's coming out continuously, you can shut every tap back off. And like I said then, we'll come over to the control panel for the heating and hot water. So as you can see, I've now got the heating and hot water control panel in front of me. We'll press the central button here to go into the options. The first one that you see flashing is the room temperature. So we'll select that and then we'll spin the dial 
right to go up and left to go down on the temperature of the caravan. I'm going to leave that off for today. But to set it, you'd essentially go into it, set the temperature you want, and hit the central button again. To turn it off, the same idea again. When you've got these icons flashing on the screen, if I spin the dial to the right, it will allow me to go into the uh, water temperature. So you've got water off. You've got eco, hot, or boost, depending on what you're doing with the caravan. If you're showering on board the caravan, I advise you have it on boost. Hot is around 50 degrees of water temperature, and eco is 30. Again, to set that, you just hit the central button, and it will be set. Spin the dial to the right again, and it will take you to the power source you want to use. So you've either got gas on its own if you're off-grid, mix 1, which is 1,000 watts of electric and gas at the same time, mix 2, 2,000 watts of electric and gas at the same time, electric 1, 1,000 watts of electric on its own, and electric 2, 2,000 watts of power on its own. Here on site, we're going to run an electric 1, and if you decided to run the gas, if it failed to ignite, it would actually come up with gas fail on the screen to indicate it has failed to ignite. Spin the dial around to the fan symbol now, and this is your fan speed. So you've got vent, which you select vent, and then you can select your fan speed between 1 and 10, again, by spinning the dial. So if we turn that on, that'll actually turn all the fans on inside the caravan. And at the moment, as the heating's turned off, it'll actually just blow some cool air around the van. Down the bottom here, you've got three more symbols. For these symbols, we do advise you read the manual that comes with the caravan. Inside the caravan, you've got the fr oh, sorry, you've also got the fridge in here. To operate the fridge, you press the power button just here. And at the moment, we're running the fridge on mains power, as you can see. To control the temperature on mains, you can use the button on the right hand side here to control the fridge temperature. If you wanted to use gas, you'd need to have the gas bottle turned on in the front locker. You'd select the gas option and it would self ignite on gas. If it failed to ignite on gas, it'd flash the blue pilot light just here and the red warning triangle on the right hand side. Again, if you're on gas, you can use the temperature button to control the temperature of the fridge. To reset the igniter, if it fails to ignite, you'll press and hold the reset button on the right hand side here and the igniter will restart. To chill the fridge as you're traveling down the road, you can connect the car to the caravan have your control panel turned off above the door and come inside, turn the fridge on and hit the 12 volt mode. What that will essentially do is, is turn the fridge into a cool box as you are traveling down the road. And it will just keep the fridge chilled rather than fully cold. Um, so for instance, if you wanna carry butter and bits and pieces like that in there, it will actually keep it cold instead of melting while you're on your, tra on your travels to your holiday. The next thing we have inside the caravan is the fr uh, hob grill and oven and that all works very much like your household appliance the only difference being is that you have a 240 electric ring on the top of the hob and that will only work if you're on a mains powered site the microwave on this particular caravan is an eco microwave and what you need to do is you need to hit the eco button on the front if it has turned off but again that will only work when you're on 240 mains last thing we go through on this particular caravan is the toilet system in the bathroom on the toilet, you have a red indicator light to let you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. This will only illuminate when that waste set is, like I said, cassette is full. You have your toilet flush, so you can press the button on top here, which will allow the toilet to flush. The toilet seat itself turns for your convenience, as you can see. However, when you're removing the toilet waste cassette from underneath the van, you need to have the toilet in the straight on position with the back of the toilet. Below the toilet, you'll actually see that you have the waste handle. This will allow the waste into the toilet set underneath the van. So you'd have that open uh, when you are using the loo. You shut it back off when you're not using the loo, as if you left it open, it could potentially damage the toilet waste cassette when you try to remove it from underneath the van. So that is the Lunar Quasar 524. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company, and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you come to collect the caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.